I know you think your boss is a little emotional over Irish matters. Well, I am. And for the good of this team, I'd like to explain why. I was in Ireland in 1978. My best friend was a man named Bill Crombie. One day we found ourselves in a rebel pub looking for an IRA brigade commander. Terrible mistake. I left. He stayed. Bravado. They shoved him in the boot of a car. I could do nothing. I had no field telephone, no weapon. They dumped his body two weeks later. Very hard to identify a body, most of which has been burnt away with a blowtorch. The brigade commander's name was Patrick McCann. This has informed my judgment on this matter. I trust you'll all understand. Thank you. You went over my head to the DG. I took a decision. The wrong one. GCHQ have just picked up a pay-as-you-go mobile keyword. Irish splinter group plans to hit Broad Street Railway Station tomorrow morning, rush hour, a bomb. MOD flash. Five pounds of Semtex got walkies from an armed shipment in Newcastle. MO's got Patrick McCann's group written all over it. And this is the man in whom you've put your trust. You went over my head, now I'm going over yours. No more deals, we are gonna stop that bomb. Smooth bureaucracy away from now on. Total communication. We group hug this one or we all fall down. Right. You lot. Meeting room. Now! My department faked to cover up. Your department? You were fed false reports. Who was aware of this? must. Did a similar thing myself once to the DG. No corpses. You were lucky. You'll forgive me if I don't hug you all. You're at the frontier of this job, Zoe. Because of what we are, we have to watch each other, painful though that can sometimes be. Now, leave this office, go straight over to Tessa and chat more bright and shiny. Chat about what? It. You've done very well. Now get yourself together. It's over. Tom made the mistake of saying that to me after his first probation, and I told him what I'll tell you. It's never over. We may dance with the devil, Zoe, but it's always to his tune. I know. You are a brilliant woman. If you wanted to get into treachery, couldn't it be something ideological? Something grand. But to invent bogus agents and pocket their payoffs. I know the service's traditional approach to wrongdoers is to smother them with kindness. But I'm going to throw you to the wolves. So, what do we have? A bonus? Nope. Bonuses are paid to employees at the end of the year. This was opened directly by Sir Richard with a copy of the account sent to Lightwood. And clearly, someone destroyed any record of it. Or thought they had, until our Leonardo of the dustbins got hold of it. Oh. Thank you, Harry. We've just received this from Christine Dale. Why is CIA London Station suddenly sharing with us? Christine Dale is a very nice young woman. I doubt that's the reason. Americans always want you to do something. You're in here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Everyone, this is Ruth Evershed joining us from GCHQ. She's going to be handling intelligence analysis in this department, sorely needed. Tom Quinn. You, you didn't know I was coming? Well, uh... Introductions later. Ruth, I want you up to speed on this. Oh, am I late? Well, you're our intelligence expert. You ought to know. <laughs> right. We are briefing Ruth and reviewing the situation. Ruth, we are struggling with Islamic extremism. We let a wolf into the fold. Every religion has its crooked priests. Our question is, is this one a threat to national security? Why don't we just close the place down? Home Office Directive. Community sensitive policy parameters. In real speak, they don't want a riot. Bug the Home Office. Hmm. If only. Right. 
Well, we'd better get on with playing at policeman. Tom, I so much wanted to join MI5. To be a real spy. Well, now you're a classic double agent. How does real spying feel? The horrible thing is, it's rather exciting. Danny just made 50 grand. Or oh, he would have if we'd been really trading. How do you know all about this stuff? I was in love with a big swinging dick. Hell's bells. Is anyone out there feeling unwell? No. I went to the loo. I won't ask who else did. Morale may not take it. Right. True, whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. I didn't think it was the real thing. Forgive me. That's not possible. Do you know it? I'm so sorry, I'm gonna have to quarantine your office. I can't even shake your hand. You'll need the keys. To lock me in. You bastard. Okay, so let's down these and head off to the George for a liquid lunch. Oh, uh, more coffee, anyone? Tea. Or tea. Fair enough. It's over. some tea.